Hi, welcome. Here I have HP Victus gaming laptop. Let's identify the model here. Take a look at the bottom right corner. This is the HP Victus 15 FA1030NR. And in this video, I'll be taking things apart, kind of show what other things can be upgrade. It could be the RAM, hard drive, battery replacement, things like that. So in this video, I'll walk through the dose process and then let's get started. So the first thing I need to have is a Phillips screwdriver. I'll be using a Phillips here. This is a tiny little one, PH00, to remove the tiny little screws here. There are three screws on the top. There are four screws here at the bottom. Once all the screws are removed, three on the top, four at the bottom. Now we can remove the cover. So this is the back cover. I'll be using a metal prying tool to kind of insert in between that gap right there. That is the gap where it separates the computer. Got a plastic prying tool to run across the cover so I do not make any scratch scratches on it. If you use the metal, you might make a scratch on the on the case. Okay, it's kind of a little hard here in the middle center. It's the clipping device that is clipped onto it. You kind of need to put a little bit of pressure to separate them. But the thing is there are seven screws just to hold on to the back cover. Once you remove all the seven screws, then you can just pop it right up. All right, at this point here, you can identify that the um, M.2 is here, the SSD drive. There are two slots for the RAM which is the DDR4 4 gigs and 4 gigs so the 8 gigs in total this is the battery there is your Wi-Fi card and you have uh, two exhaust fan that the heat pipe is kind of from the graphics card and the CPU okay so let's remove the battery to disconnect slide the connector down just slide it down towards yourself There are four screws holding down the battery and this battery here is SD03XL That is the model for the battery. If you're looking for the battery, please check the link down in the description below I'll link it to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement battery And the battery is supposed to be flat so if you can see that the battery here is, is not swollen uh, There's no lump on the battery, it's just strictly flat So if you have a flat surface like this this is a brand new battery, so it's a flat surface like that. That means the computer is good condition. Um, the battery is in a good condition. So if you have a, a swollen battery, like a lumpy battery, then more likely it's going to push the back cover or it's going to push against the trackpad. So if you feel like your trackpad, especially the clicker, either the left or the right, are not clicking properly or the trackpad is acting weird, then more likely the battery is swollen, is pushing from the inside out and they always cause the trackpad to act funny. Here we have the M.2 SSD drive. The M.2 SSD drive was held down by one screw. Once you remove that one screw, you can see that this M.2 SSD is 512 gigabytes. 
so if you want to upgrade the 512 gigabytes ssd uh, you can upgrade it to either one terabyte or whatnot so that way you can uh, have more capacity so you can install one of these here so unfortunately the computer does not have additional uh, m2 ssd slot supposedly there was one made right on this part but they never finish up with the connector that connects to the uh, motherboard all right so the next step is the ram if you're planning to upgrade more ram uh, you can remove the ram by pushing these two clipper the metal clipper here away from each other push it away at the ram will pop up at 45 degree angle and you can just slide it away from that part so this is the ram this ram here runs on a ddr4 pc4 stands for ddr4 and this is a 4 gigabytes ram you can upgrade to a larger ram meaning that you can put in an 8 gigs ram so to install 8 gigs you just have to slide it in at 45 degree angle and when you install push right in the middle here you can hear that the two clicker on the side would click and lock it in all right so let me try that again making sure you want to match that gap on the slot here so the ram and the gap has to be matched push it right in the center same for this ram here slide it in at 45 degree angle push it right in the middle and the slot would just close and lock it down and the CPU fan, can it be removed and cleaned? The answer is yes. To remove the connector, push it away from you on both sides. If you're getting overheating on the uh, computer, maybe because you have pets at home, like this owner does have pets at home, you can see that their fur hair gets stuck all around the heat sink so that means you know they have pets at home and sometimes those hair can clog out the fan so it is time to um you know clean it out so by removing the screws here Okay, at this point you can go ahead and walk outside to the house um, try to use the Aiken duster blow it off and get rid of all the dust and all the, uh, the the fur hair okay so that's how you clean off the CPU fan and um, at this point you want to come here and kind of clean off the uh, heat sink so the heat sink do have uh, blockage and if there's any blockage it prevents the uh, hot air to escape you want to come and clean those things off uh, that way is better for the computer so that's pretty much it um, at this point here I think that we talk about the battery the hard drive the RAM the heatsink so um, and again if you want to change the keyboard uh, so technically I just want to give you a heads up the keyboard is not replaceable because the keyboard is together with the palm rest is one piece together so if you have any uh, broken keys if you, have, you spill stuff on a keyboard if you have broken keys and some of the keys are not working unfortunately you would have to change out the entire palm rest the full assembly keyboard trackpad palm rest the full assembly because the way they built this is one piece it's not a separate component okay so that is a one piece being built here and um, the rest of it would be just the uh, um, the motherboard which is just remove all the screws and that way you can just remove entirely on a motherboard I hope this video is helpful if you do find a video is helpful please smash the like button for me I really appreciate you for doing that and of course if you want to look up for the parts 
uh, the replacement items please check the link down description below i'll direct you to either amazon or ebay um, where you can buy those things all right thanks for watching until next time take care and bye now